So thank you, Representative Lane, to close, please. Thank you. Uh, first, I'd like to thank all of the witnesses. Uh, I'd like to thank the members of the committee and the subs who are here for uh, joining us today. Uh, I know you feel like you've been enlightened. Um, I, I feel I have to say this. Um, for those who continue to insist that SGRCA4 and the Equal Rights Amendment are about abortion, insults me to my core. I have not spent 25 years trying to pass this, Madam Chairperson, because I'm interested in expanding abortion rights. The people sitting behind me for the last five hours here are not here to expand abortion. They are here. They are here to guarantee rights to 50%, 160 million people in our country. The idea that equal rights for women shouldn't be in the Constitution because you have state laws all over the country to protect them is laughable. I heard that. Um, that there was a comment about uh, pregnant women are covered in the workplace, but we heard from Amy Meek from the ACLU that her entire practice is about pregnant women in their workplace who get thrown off their job, don't get a place to take care of their health care needs, and we're going to hear that they're protected by the laws we have in the state of Illinois without a little help from somebody. It borders on nonsense. To the idea that, well, we don't know how this will be interpreted. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we don't know how any law we pass is going to be interpreted. <laughs> if we knew in advance how every law would be interpreted, there'd be no court system. There'd be no need for a court system. There'd probably be no need for lawyers. Not a good thing for me. <laughs> We have a court system to adjudicate and interpret the laws that we pass. All of us pass laws. And to the extent that they are or are not uh, uh, regulated through the JCAR process, they go out into the world and they're interpreted by a court system. And we don't always like the decisions those courts make. I don't. You don't, no one behind me does, no one next to me does. Nobody likes every decision made by a court. And yet, that's the system we have in the United States of America. And to say, well, we shouldn't pass this because we don't know what a court will do, so let's not give women the right they ought to be due under the Constitution is appalling. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, I'm pretty sure that most of the people who have talked today and most of the people who are against this, who on the House floor will vote no, and one of the reasons they will give is we don't need this in the Constitution, then I ask them, are you prepared to repeal the First Amendment? And I'm pretty sure most of them support the Second Amendment. How about that? Let's repeal the Second Amendment of the United States Constitution. <laughs> And, and let's leave that up to states all over the country to decide. I bet you're not for that, those of you who are against the Equal Rights Amendment. And so I say to this committee, and when it comes back to committee for an actual vote, we'll probably have to do all this again. But I say to you now, and I say to you then, this is not about abortion. This has never been about abortion. There's never been a ruling in this state regarding relating the equal rights language we have in our law today, in our Constitution today, to any abortion issue whatsoever. Not for 50 years. This is about giving everyone equal rights. And if you're not for the equal rights of women in Illinois, and if you're not for the equal rights of women in America, what are you doing? Why are we here in the first place? Are we only going to protect the people who our founding fathers decided to protect? 
Are we only going to protect the people that's convenient for us to protect? Are we only going to protect the people who our campaign donors want us to protect? We have a greater responsibility than many of the people that have talked against this understand. Our responsibility is yes about abortion because we all have our opinions about it, but it's about hundreds of other things that relate to the everyday lives and the jobs and the welfare and the college education and the insurance and the car buying and the apartment renting and the mortgage getting people that live in the state of Illinois and all over this country. And we have a responsibility to them, not just to individuals who call our office with their hair on fire. <laughs> and so, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do this again, and we'll have more witnesses, and we'll have more conversation, and it will get heated. But we're, I'm going to keep this on the best plane and the best level I can. I'm going to beg you to move back from politics and do what's right for the people of this country. Thank you.